for the anniversary of More Myself. Wow. Um, I love this book. I love it so much. I'm so proud of it, too, because what it takes to just kind of like go back to your story is such a powerful experience. I actually think everybody should write a memoir, whether it's published or not published for yourself, for your family, really recounting who you were and who you are now is, is incredible. So we're reading passages from more myself and I wanted to read one that I think really reflects when you find your kindred spirits. And that can be in many ways. That can be, you know, with your family, that can be with your brother, that can be with your lover, that can be with a best friend, that can be with a stranger for just a moment that you find this kindred connection I think you really recognize it right away when you do. And I guess what I've learned is leaning into that and looking for that and knowing that that exists helps you grow. So this is the passage. Bliss is a beautiful destination, but you can often only reach its shores after a turning point. It's as if the universe is testing you to be sure you're strong enough to make it through the murky waters not just the serene ones, so that you can move to a new and unknown place in yourself. In 2009, life sent me exactly such a transition. The year began on a high note, with Barack Obama becoming president. On that brisk January morning, our nation's first black commander-in-chief placed his palm on Lincoln's Bible while Michelle, graceful and resplendent in that gorgeous Isabel Toledo dress and coat outfit, looked on with enormous pride. As I watched from the stands, I felt honored to be seated next to civil rights activist Ralph Abernathy, one of the many brave pioneers who marched and fought to make possible the moment we were standing in. Anticipation echoed from the steps of the Lincoln Memorial to the top of the Washington Monument, reverberating through the millions who gathered to witness history unfold. Following the ceremony, the only thing left to do was party. I had the privilege of performing no one at our new president's inaugural ball, then following Beyonce's rapturous rendition of At Last, Mary J. Blige, Shakira, Mariah Carey, Will I Am, Sting, Faith Hill, Maroon 5, and I joined Stevie Wonder on stage to sing Sign, Seal, Deliver, I'm Yours as the first couple and the entire audience danced along. As the year got underway, my connection to Swiss continued to surprise me. We seemed like such opposites, both artistically and personally. He'd often show up at the studio hours after the start of his session and then only work a short time before heading out to a dinner, a gallery, a this, a that. He allowed the energy to guide him rather than the other way around. If the spirit was moving, he stayed with it. If it wasn't, he left and returned. My style was so different. I grew up with the kind of focus and discipline and structure honed through strict classical training. I'd arrived in the studio with a plan of execution and if the vibe wasn't there, I dug in the way I once did at Campo for the diary album. If I was an hour late to the studio, I freaked out, whereas Swiss would run four hours behind. He's a free spirit, a super dreamer with his head in another galaxy. That difference is part of what drew us together. And over time, his spontaneity loosened my rigidity even as my sense of structure rubbed off on him. We also stood shoulder to shoulder as equals in the music industry. When we attended events together, I didn't need to introduce him to anyone or rush to make sure he felt acknowledged. I could just exhale and enjoy myself. Swiss, as an established artist in his own right, already widely known and respected, upon entering a room, people were immediately drawn to Swiss. His words and ideas, his vision, his vibration, his charisma, they seemed to compel others as strongly as they enraptured me. In public, the buzz was no longer just about my arrival. It was about both of us, two energetically equivalent lights burning side by side in separate but equal musical spheres. That sense of equality brought understanding. If Swift told me he had to go on the road, my response was usually, of course you have to be away next week, and I'll be away the week after that. Neither of us was ever leaving the other behind, feeling guilty about the constant travel that comes with being in our position. There was an ease and an effortlessness in our relationship. It also felt intellectually stimulating, 
Swiss was always scanning for new ideas, keeping his eyes on everything from internet blogs and podcasts to the Los Angeles Times and Culture Magazine. On long Sunday afternoons, we get lost in hours of conversation on everything from the rise of the Black Panthers during the turbulence of the 60s to the masterworks of photographer Gordon Parks. At every turn, Swiss and I challenged one another, widening each other's perspectives. And I just love remembering and recollecting how not only was that then, but this is now the same energy, that same vibe, that same connectedness, that same similarity and realizing that relationships, when you are in relationship with your kindred spirits, like I said, they can come in so many forms. There's an ease there, there's a, there's a learning, there's an equanimity there, there's a, you know, there's a eye to eye, you know, that you really feel deep inside of you. And I love this passage for recognizing the beginnings of me and one of the most beautiful people I've ever met in my life. Not only is he somebody that I love and adore, the father of my children and my husband, but he's my best friend and he's my kindred spirit. So as we are celebrating the anniversary of More Myself, I think this passage just reminds me to remind us to continue to seek out our kindred spirits, that they do exist, they are out there. And it doesn't even have to be a, 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 a lover relationship. There's so many versions of it that just uplift you. And let's try our best to surround ourselves with things that uplift us, because you know what else is there? Thank you for loving my book, for vibing with these passages. I love this.